Hi, this is Joe Avati and welcome to Church Street Studios, my Sydney studio, where I record my podcast, A Serious Chat with a Comedian. And guess what? Today, it's not going to be serious because today we have two of some of what I call my comedy brothers, Mr. Rob Shahidi and Tahir. And look, I mean, there's so many, so much to say. I mean, you guys, these, these guys have done so much television. We've done all these shows together. And we're just going to riff. There's no plans today. We're just going to talk about the kind of fun that we had on tour. We're very, very good friends. We've known each other, well, especially with Tahir, over 20 years. Rob, almost that same. Let's just, let's just go on. Let's see, Mr. Rob Shahidi and Tahir. Welcome to this week's episode of a Serious Chat with a Comedian, which is not going to be serious because I've got my mates Tahir and Rob Shahidi here. How are you, boys? Hello. And two comics for the price yes. of one. Two for the price of one. Yeah, no price at all. For no price yeah. at all, actually. Yeah. So what's oh. been happening, boys? Oh, there's been a lot happening. Like, you know, it's touring. Uh, everyone's been busy. Like, you know, yeah. um, it, was, it was funny. It's funny, isn't it? Like, we don't catch up until we... Have to do podcasts. <laughs> podcasts or, or work. Yeah, or work. Or yeah. something like that. Like, you're notorious. Like, you know, like, if I... You know what? That's why sometimes the only reason why I do these shows is just yeah. so I get a chance to speak to you. Because yeah, yeah. otherwise, I don't, I don't you know, I hate the most when people go, "I'm coming to Sydney. Let's catch up." No, that's no. where I can't catch up. Yeah. He goes to lock. He's locked like, in, in, in Sydney. Yeah. I can't catch up. I can yeah. catch up in your city. Yeah, but yeah. not in my city. You know what? You're right. Well, you know what? I've only realised that now because I'm married with kids. That's right. Are you? Uh, you See miss what Sydney? I mean? Huh? Do you miss Sydney? I do miss Sydney now. You know, there was a period there, Rob, where I had this love-hate relationship. Like, when I moved to Melbourne, I was like, I don't want to know Sydney. I'd fly in. If yeah. I could fly in, do the show, and fly out, like yeah. if I will do a corporate, I'm on at 8, I'd land at 6, I'm on at 8, finish the show at 8.30, I, I know. I'd, I'd catch the 9 o'clock or 9.30 flight out back to Melbourne. I remember we were touring. We were doing all those oh, tours well, together. Yeah. I remember when He'd he... He first flight out of, out of Sydney. Yeah, no, I remember Joe, Joe booked me to um, to do a little warm-up before him at a, at a club. Yeah. All right, Rob, you do 20 minutes and then I'll come on. All yeah. right. So I started getting text messages. He hasn't landed yet. Yeah. You haven't landed. Yeah. The show is now... Well, was that that time when I same. had those two shows... And I had to go in and out of Adelaide to us. I don't know, but you fl- you were flying in and you were going to come straight to the gig. Yeah. But you were, there was a delay. Yeah. And now the show is, is 30 minutes late. Mm. And now I'm panicking because there's an audience out there and Joe hasn't turned up and you kept it. All right. I think yeah. I did 45 minutes. And he's gone through his material. Yeah, but no, that was... Enough. I started <laughs> using your material. So I, was just, I was running out of uh, material. I'm doing, I'm doing gags. I go, hang on, hang on, this one's not working. People go, I've heard it. <laughs> I, so we should tell people, like, how we met. Like, you know, because yeah. people, like... So yeah. so Joe and I, we we met at the Sydney Commerce Store, basically. Right? Yeah. So we, we, we did our... Um, I saw... I think I saw your first time on stage. Well, I started around about July 1995. Five, was. Yeah. yeah. I reckon 95 was when I... Yeah. So I remember like... Because I remember... Um, yeah, I remember we were, we were all in the open mic. Yeah. And how good was the open mic back then? Yeah, it was. It was you, great. me, yeah. Yeah. Kitty Flanagan, yeah, well, Carl, you Carl th- Barron, yeah, yeah, yeah. Akmal. Akmal. Um, uh, 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 Tom Gleeson. Tom Gleeson. Steve Hughes. Uh, Julia Morris. Julia, what, what? That was a good open mic. So people aren't doing it as much anymore. Is it dying art? Is it a? It was. Oh, I think I it was know. just a good. You're, batch. you're probably more in touch with the the comedy scene than I am in terms of the comedy, the, mm. the, the rooms. I haven't done them for a long time, so I don't know. I mean, there's comedians that are coming up. Which oh, I've never heard of this comedian. Yeah, that's like, but like that, but that open mic, I I, I feel was really. So, there's an Italian comedian I see, Joe. Okay, straight. I liked him. Okay, yeah. I, and then I remember some of the um. Because you were very business minded, which I yeah, loved. Yeah. You know, I love business. Who doesn't, right? Yeah. Uh, we're ethnics. Of course, we love business. Oh, there's a lot of comedians who've got no idea about no business. No idea. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's, it's part of the get what we yeah. do. And uh, I remember, like, so Joe was in the open mic, Rob. And uh, I remember these other comedians, like, I won't name them, but uh, they were being a dude for a little bit longer than what Joe and I had. And they, was, they were having a whinge, right? They go, oh, this new guy in open mic, Joe Vardy, he's got business cards. Yeah. Right. They were whinging about the business cards like this, so he's printing business cards. And I remember hearing it, and I remember my first reaction was, what a good idea that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd <laughs> like do shows, yeah. and I'd, I'd be handing out business cards, and everyone else would be hiding. I don't know why they were like, I go, why would it bother you? Like, yeah, for me, I, I go, that's a very good idea. That was before websites. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, we need yeah. business yeah, cards, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. 
Like so, I, I throw. I loved it straight away. Yeah. And, um, but you came on about a month after I started, right? Around about there. Yeah, because I, you know, I've told the story before. When it took yeah. me six weeks to get up at the comedy yeah. store, and the one week where I was pumped up to get up, they because of lack of numbers, they moved the show to the front bar. Yeah. Remember Did like, you ever go to the comedy store, Rob? No. So. I, the, so I, so the comedy well, not store in those had, days. Yeah. I, is that the one at Leica? Yeah, yeah, the one in Leica. Yeah, I, I remember it. In, in Crystal Street, right? And in the back part now is all pokies. Yeah. But but in the back part was a beautiful little theatre. Mm. And then when they wouldn't have enough uh, people you know, to fill it, or if there was like 10 or 12 or 8 people. Jeez. <laughs> they'd move <laughs> it into the front bar. Yeah. But the front bar... Was like, a bar. It's a pub. Was, was the pub, but 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 you know, here's the he, 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 you know like here's the 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 bar. Here's where everyone sat. Here's the glass, and here's Parramatta Road. Oh jeez. So, so we had to do a show in there when there's trucks and shit going past. Wow. So your stage is like right, the the curb and the Parramatta Road right behind you. Behind. Yes. And the bus would come past. So you really just close. had randoms in the pub, just having a smoke that and was a beer. So, so I'm looking there. I'm seeing a guy at the bar, just sitting there. Like, he was just there minding his business. Yeah, All of a sudden, yeah. the comedy show just. Breaks open. <laughs> moves what in. Is he, what yeah, the hell is this? I didn't pay yeah, for this. Yeah, I know. Poor yeah. guy. He just wants to sit down for yeah. a quiet drink. Uh, sorry, guys. He's waiting for race six at yeah. uh, Randwick. <laughs> and, and, and I pulled out. I go, no, no. I can't make my debut here. Yeah. So I, I was pumped to be on that night. Yeah. You were up that night. Yes. And uh, I said, no, I can't make it. So yeah. I turned up the week after. And yeah. it was back in the normal room. Yeah. It was an addiction uh, back then. As soon as, you know, like you went, oh, oh I've got to go on. I've got to go back. I've got to... You know, yeah. especially if you got laughs, it was an addiction. It was like you needed I that thought, rush. I, again. I would turn up to open mics three times a week. Mm. Three, like wherever there was an open mic, yeah. I'd be there. Can you I get Harold Park a lot? Can I get up? Harold Park? No, yeah. I can't get. As soon as I found out about Harold Park, I, I was there straight up within a flash. Yeah, my heart started getting. Yeah. I, I, watched, I was excited, and I went to Harold Park. I walked in at this place. This is it, and I started loving Harold Park. Yeah. Um, my that first was show there is well, I watched um, Akmal and um, Gary Eck. And Gary Eck and Anthony Moore in All Aussie are Bufta. Yeah, with a B. Yeah, yeah, All Aussie are Bufta. Buf- yeah. That was you you know how they show. got that title? Good show. No. They saw it in the back of the toilet. All right. And they got- <laughs> they're the old log dads used to yeah, say. I know. And they yeah, said, like, but they didn't say, it wasn't in a sexuality way. It wasn't, no, it's weird. No, it was no, just no. the way they just. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't even think they really re- sort of knew. You know? Yeah. And you know what they said? Like, so when they started doing it, it was a great sketch show. Mm. And I watched it several times, yeah. I remember. Um, they got it, started getting a lot of Arabs to the show. Yep. <laughs> like, it's, the sketch space yeah. is supposed to be everyone. Yeah. So they changed the name. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, oh, right. I loved it. I, yeah, I, read, yeah. I think I went oh, two or three times. Oh, it was a funny show. I loved the way they sprayed the water and yeah, the, yeah. the moth yeah. to the yeah. light. And yeah. I still remember yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now you guys come. You came through the hard way. <laughs> yeah. I had Express. I went. Yeah, I went did. the Express checkout to be a comedian. Um, what was your yeah. first time doing stand-up? Well, I well him, you never stand up, but just even acting. Well, I remember. I remember my first wedding. I did. Uh, he, he, he. I guess he pumped me up to do stand up. Yeah. So we we met on the. Pumped you up, force you. Yeah. Well, we we, we met <laughs> no, on the. No, no, no. I don't want to just do it. No, no. <laughs> well, we met so, on like, the set of Fat Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, but and, before that, yeah. you take a step back. My first scene in Fat Pizza, right? Yeah. I'm on a couch. First scene, my partner is a Greek guy. Yeah. I forget his name. I don't know who he is. Yeah. And and Paulie uh, gives me the uh, a bong mm-hmm. to to go on the couch to smoke yeah. on the couch. Yeah. And he gave the Greek guy the kebab. Yeah. And I said, Paulie, excuse me. I said, uh, I don't do this bong because my mum could be watching. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because I don't want to see me like smoking yeah, a bomb. Course, she, yeah. You know, I mean, she doesn't yeah. know I sell this stuff, not smoke it. No, no, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, I said, no, I can't do this because it's yeah. case. Like, I said, mm. it's not a good look. And I, I mean, now I'm Paulie now, like, normally he wouldn't stand for that sort of stuff. Yeah. But he must have liked me. He goes, all yeah. right, uh, switch. Yeah. So I got the kebab. Yeah. And the Greek guy pretended he was stoned off his head. Yeah. And he's like, like this. Yeah. Never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> so Never I, saw so him I, again. Yeah, yeah, so like, they looked at the shorts, they go, nah. It, so next scene, gone, yeah. axed. Yeah. This guy turns up. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. yeah, so from my angle, it was my brother said to me, let's go, I've got to go try it for us because we knew Sleek the Elite and they'd been filming the series. I, yeah, I remember right. watching Pizza when it was a, um, it was, the, they were trying to sell it to the to the uh, the network. So right. He did, but, a, he did a little like short on it and we watched it. But stepping back for a sec, Rob, because I've never actually asked you this question, before you, you went to do that audition, had you already... 
Were you a joker? Were you a practical joker? Were you a smart ass? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming you were. Knowing I, you I had you confidence. Are. I yeah, was yeah. a confident yeah. guy. Yeah. I, you know, I, you know, at school, you know, yeah. all the mates. Yeah. We had a lot of lebs, yeah. Italians, and yeah, all that yeah, big yeah. group, and um, you know, always mucking around and yeah. joking around. Yeah. But uh, but I was always that kind of guy. Everyone, everyone, I got along well with everyone, so yeah. I wasn't a, yeah. um, a, you know, an annoying type person. Yeah. And um, so I was working. I was playing rugby. Are you sure, are you sure about that? Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you've annoyed us sometimes on tour. Yeah. You know, we'll get to those stories later. What about uh, the guys you're chasing in the playground? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I, I was. Was it because because you were tall that you felt that you had that confidence because you were big? I mean, who's probably, probably who's going to yeah. around with but you? But I, I wasn't a bully. I didn't. I yeah, didn't. Right. I didn't go around pushing little guys. Yeah, and like I was. Yeah. You know, the yeah. Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I was vice captain at school, so they oh, right. they voted me to be. Who vice- was the captain? Uh, it's other Josh. No, yeah, no, where is he now? <laughs> no, wait, no, no, he's a good bloke. Um, so yeah, I went and tried out for this scene, yeah. and my brother was meant to try. He goes, "Come along." So yeah. I tried out, mm. and I remember Paul Phoenix said to me, "Do something woggy." I went inside his little office, mm-hmm. do something woggy. They had a camera like that. Mm. Yeah, but it, it, just to hold it there, like I know because you, you just brushed over it. Like imagine, say his brother's there, yeah, to try out, yeah, and Paul he goes, uh, "What about that big bloke there?" Yeah, <laughs> he goes, "Get him to like you know, yeah. that's, like, that's my brother. Well, get, wanted, get him to have a go too." They, they yeah. wanted a big. Yeah. Big, big ethnic guy. Yeah, yeah, right. He was just there. Yeah, Nick. So, yeah. so I walked in. No, but Rob was just there. Yeah. Yeah, and Nick, my brother, was there. So yeah. I walked in and he goes, do something woggy. So and I was a big fan of Cropless now. George, yeah. George Capanaris was my favourite. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mimo was... Yeah. But I, I love Idolised him. Yeah. I love those moments in life. Like, he could have decided, no, nah, Nick, I'm not going to go with you. Yeah. And then everything... That's right. The whole course changes. Sliding yes. doors. Sliding you know doors, like, yeah. like, It's incredible. Like, we, we probably have... You know, millions of like through our lives, yeah. like which is yeah. we don't sliding like, fly screen doors. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so George is my. I, I remember yeah. and I, like seeing George on a New Year's Eve in Sydney. Yeah, and I was like, I was probably 18, 19. Yeah. Oh my God, me more, me more. Yeah, and he had the biggest Aussie accent, and I was like, actually, I said hi, and I walked away gutted. Yeah, right. Because you actually I met that... my my idol, yeah. who I thought was. And now I understand because people will see us on mm. off TV and yeah. think we're like the characters. Yeah, and he wasn't. He had this big Aussie accent, not the Greek accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've talked about this in an earlier yeah, podcast, so people should check out one of Joe's earlier podcasts. Yes. When he, and uh, so we won't go into stories here, but yeah, yeah. people so, think I'm real. Yes, now that that was a really interesting story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that was on series one of the of, of this yeah, podcast. Yeah. But you can just still go obviously so look, and find yeah, look, it. look it up. Yeah, that was interesting, but we won't talk mm. about that today. We, so, yeah. so I did George's accent. Yeah. And then uh, I get a call to come. I, I got the scene, and and the can you do it now, uh, Elizabeth? I can't remember. Oh, what okay. I, I can't remember what I said. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, mate. I can't yeah. remember what I did. <laughs> I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. Maybe I did a mix of you yeah. know Cropless Now characters yeah. and. Um, Sound like a bit like Nick. Nick yeah, Janopis. that was that yeah. was Nick Janopis there. But anyway, so I got the scene, and I did this scene. Yeah. And I ad libbed on the night. And I ad libbed the the line, I'm the Lebanese Rambo, because I had yeah. a bow and arrow. And I had to, right. you know, it was like a road rage scene. <laughs> yeah. And I cracked up the whole set. Yeah. And and then they got me back. Yeah. And then I'm in a yellow valiant. And then this guy's with me. Yeah. And that was it. That's yeah. where the relationship started. Yeah, right. That's so the Greek guy were. then got the flick. Yeah. I slotted in. Yeah. yeah, right. So this Greek guy probably feels like the fifth Beatle member. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He yeah, just, yeah, yeah. he probably looks back in line. Pete Best. That was called, a guy called Pete Best. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I was the yeah. guy that took his spot and yeah. then the rest is history. And um, and we bonded because we were in a car mm. with these two girls in the back seat yeah. who were apparently we just picked up. Yeah. And we're going, shut And I, I do, I stuff up the, the uh, yeah, let's get, let's get nude again. Shut up, Habib, you idiot. Like, yeah. but anyway, <laughs> like the, the scene would be on, they'd be going, ah, oh, boys, Rocky, Habib, oh my God, boys. And then when the scene was off, like, cart. They'd be like the stiffest oh, actors. Like they thought oh, they were right. Hollywood. Bel- remember Belvoir Street Theatre? Yeah, right. Okay, mate, you're not on Belvoir Street Theatre. Like, <laughs> you're on the set of Fat Pizza. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they were so stuck up and so stiff. Hollywood. And we bonded over that. Yeah, yeah. yeah look right. at these. Yeah. Who do they think they are? Yeah. <laughs> so, so you imagine me? I've never yeah. acted, never been on TV, never done comedy. I get in this valley, and this is before GoPros. Yeah. So Paul's Paul is like, all right, you got to drive, Rob. Yeah. You got to drive at a certain speed. You got to feel the camera because there was the car was coming up next to us. Right. You got to feel that camera coming through your, um, Tahir's window, and I'm driving, pretending I'm not. I'm not looking at the camera, but I got to feel that that mm. they can see me through. Mm-hmm. It was crazy, yeah. and then try to do lines and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know we've had some crazy. 
Yeah. Crazy what scenes. About, what about in the movie when they, they said, okay, you, Proton was sponsoring the movie. <laughs> the, the Fat the Pizza movie. Yeah, yeah right. The Fat Pizza movie. Proton was what? It was a car brand. It's like a car. Yeah, like yes, a yeah, Proton, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This and they car. Go, okay, the scene was set. We had everything okay, ready. Okay, the, I'm the driver. It's my car. It's a hot up car. Yeah. Have a look. It's a manual. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I, drive a manual. I drive a manual, yeah. <laughs> I said, they said it could be a manual, so... Uh, I got some lessons, but it wasn't yeah. enough. Like you know, yeah, I just, bunny hopping everywhere. So I turned up and I have a look. They go, okay, all you got to do is just get in the car, drive about 10, 15 meters and yeah. stop. Yeah. But like in front of me, there's like camera crew sound. There's yeah. about 40 people in front. Yeah. In my head, I'm going to just bowl them all over. <laughs> and to top it off, the proton, people are there. They've come to see their big scene. <laughs> I said, uh, so no, no, this can't happen. Yeah. Couple of phone calls. I see a um, what do you call it? Trailer, yeah. Trailer like a, turn they up. put the car on the trailer. Oh, yes. So now so it looks the, like you're driving. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. now the protons on the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going the up and down Hickson Road there, yeah, right yeah. towards yeah. the rocks. How embarrassing, huh? Like and and so you're about a meter off the ground, and that's how they do it in Hollywood as well. Yeah. Right. But when you watch it on TV, you can't tell. No, you can't tell because they can set the cameras high. on this trailer yeah. as well. It's yeah. good. It's and, works. and when you see a moving car, that's yeah. where you get those. You know, you go, how do they do those shots when they come around the driver? And so there's yeah. a camera guy on there. Yeah. Like just getting the shots. Yeah. Or camera person, I should say. Yeah, days. camera person. You can't uh, tell anyone. Yeah, so yeah. that's how they get the shots. But um, so that's how I started, and I mm. met the Tar here, and we bonded, and we yeah. became friends, yeah. and um, and then he, we did a lot of nightclub appearances. So I yeah. started getting confident on the microphone. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't hard at nightclubs, yeah. you know. And yeah. um, I've done one nightclub appearance with Tar here. <laughs> crazy. They were crazy back then. And and and, oh, and I think a... I was the one getting paid to do the gig, and he just came along. He goes, "I'll introduce you," and the first thing he said was. Where's all the fat chicks? That's, or something. What did you say? Yeah, that was the pizza All the fat days. chicks make some noise. All the fat chicks make some noise. Yeah, why not? Because they're going to get a bit of attention as well. Yeah. And, and I, like, like, I remember I'm looking around and people start laughing. Lot, and the, and, but the girls got excited. Like, yeah. they, like they got a bit yeah. of attention. I think everyone deserves a bit of attention. Because well, the Habib character was... Yeah. yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he was all about yeah. the character. And then, and then so, so you and I met that one night, I think we were out. It was in the cross of Hugo's and then Tahir was our came to say hello. I'd known Paul Fennick because he had recorded in 2000, I think you were on that, that series as well, the Aussie Jokers, uh, Aussie Jokers series, yes, yes. right? So he did an episode on you, he did an episode yep. on me. In fact, our episode was recorded on the same weekend when we went to do a show in Griffith. Yes. And, um, geez, that's a long time ago. Aussie Jokers, 22 yeah. years ago. Oh, that's that incredible. Yeah. And then I went to see Tahir or met up with you guys. You were there. Paulie was there, but I think we didn't really bond then. We probably bonded more when we started our live shows. And we've had some fun along the way with those shows, mate. Well, we, oh. Yeah, we met on good – well, the proper meeting was the Good, the Bad and the Ethnic show. And, yeah. Um, yeah. That was a great show. We took it everywhere. Yeah. I was, I still love it. when I was there when your life changed, Joe. So yes, we were in that's Melbourne. Right. 17th of July, 2001, when my life changed forever. So we're in Melbourne. Yeah. We're in the hotel where they had high ceilings. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know exactly well, the was, hotel. It was a high, it was, very high ceilings. Yes. Old, old it was style. the old, it was, funnily enough, it was the old um, taxation office. <laughs> <laughs> you were not in the taxation yeah. office? <laughs> That's where my career took off in the taxation office. If only they knew. If, if only, only they knew. They could have caught us then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there with um, uh, Joe's uncle, John. Mm. Um, he was my tour manager at the guy. time. Lovely guy. We Security. all love him. Yeah, we all yeah, love John. Yeah. yeah. And we were there. And uh, I was supporting Joe for, for a Melbourne show. Yeah. And they put these Canadian shows on sale yeah. in this, how big was the theatre? 2000 seater? It was an uh, 1800 seater. 1800 seater. Yeah. And Joe goes, they were shocked. They go, look at this. Shows are selling the, out. The first two sold out in seven minutes. Yeah. Or were nine you minutes. looking, was this online? Yeah. yeah no, so what happened was um, the uh, they went on sale, which was during the day here. It was I don't know if it was night or in the morning there, which was at night here. Whatever the time difference was, it doesn't really matter. But I was I started getting people emailing my fan club saying, mate, how this, how's this possible? The shows have just gone on sale. I can't get a ticket. Yeah. So I said to John, I said, John, how's this possible, mate? There, there are people complaining. You thought so good. he rang Ticketmaster in Canada and said, um, that, you know, people can't get tickets. And they're like, yeah, because it's sold out. Jeez. And he goes, mate, this, like, you know, he had the phone... He put his hand over the sort of receiving and said, <laughs> yeah. fine, the show sold out. What do you mean the show sold out? How could it be possible? How could we have sold 3,200 tickets in nine minutes? He goes, I think they've got the wrong show. And he goes, uh, is that the Joe Avati show? It's your show. <laughs> wow. I had to go to the toilet. It wasn't like that in I, those I, days. I lost control of my bowels because I'd realised 
that all of a sudden I'd made all this money. Was and, that because your re- your C whatever it was back well, then? The CD, CD, the CD had Napster. gone to yeah, because the Napster had Which gone is to number like, one. If you don't know, is like I guess iTunes back be, then. Yeah, but that know, was, like you can rip. You could. Yeah, that's right. But it was just audio. It was just audio. That's right. Yeah. And so we knew we had another two shows to put on, so we put those ones on. They sold out within two hours. Yeah. So there's 6,400 tickets without spending any money advertising or whatever. I just realised I'd, I'd become rich. Yeah. All because, of a sudden, but, but what I remember, I remember Joe showed me the uh, a picture of the theatre. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I remember seeing the theatre. Yes. Yeah. Say, hey, have a look at the theatre. Yeah. And then we had to, things were happening, and I, it was awesome to be there. I, I, in fact, I actually am pumped I was there. Yeah. Like, I was, I'm really yeah. happy. Because yeah. he goes, look at this. And I was really... Because we're up the show, by the time we had to go to the show, yeah. you guys were up the show six or seven yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, ended up doing just that first year, yeah. ten shows, and the second year, eight shows in that venue. Just by the time we left, there. they're up to six, and then by the time we came back, they were still, they yeah. were still selling. Yeah. Like, I remember. How are you getting the shows on sale so fast? Did you? I don't know if I. Well, even... because we had them ready to go just in case. Oh, right. Just in case. So we had we only had four shows ready to yeah, go. Yeah. So we had the two shows Friday, Saturday. If they sold out, we'll put the Sunday matinee yeah. and Sunday evening on. Yeah. They sold out. So then John goes, well, what dates, have, what else dates? So give us every date you've got possible. You whack them on. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think before I even met you, I, I had on video your highlight, like some media package. Yeah, right. I don't know how yeah. I got it. How did you get that? I don't know. Maybe everybody was sharing the Napstar. This yeah. Thing, I don't like, know, yeah. but I remember, you know, yeah. Joe, it was, you were all on this Canadian talk shows and I yeah. saw it a long time ago, yeah. even before I knew you. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't even know how I got that. But I liked your marketing, how you did it. Yeah. You know, Australia's biggest <laughs> comedian, Australia this, Australia. It's like if I went to Lebanon, yeah. I could say, like, they'll believe me in Lebanon. Yeah. yeah. If I said I was Australia. Well, this the world's biggest leb. Yeah. <laughs> Without doing anything. <laughs> no, because they be- they'll believe it. Yeah. You know, that- that's, Napster was a bit dangerous because, like, there was no vision. Like, there was no vision. There was audio. So, so people actually, when, when I got there, they thought, you're pretty young. Because I, I was 27. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. 27. Yeah, when you look back and you go, what the hell did I know at 27? What does a 27-year-old know today? And I was selling out stadiums all over the world. I'm yeah, thinking, yeah. wow, that's incredible. People thought I was 40, 45. And that was the good times of uh, CDs. You were yes. selling a lot oh, of yeah, CDs. CDs. I remember yeah. like, even our, yeah. the, good, the Good, the Bad, the Ethnic tour, we sold a lot of DVDs. Yeah. And then we did Straight out of Compo and yeah. we sold no DVDs. Yeah, yeah. Started, Just in yeah. that five-year yeah. difference. Yeah. Um, oh, you technology know, well, just, just fun with those tools. We should tell people about the tools. I know, but can I tell you something just yeah. quickly? So, so um, at home in my garage, so so the guys <laughs> who pr- pr- pressed all the DVDs and whatever, you know, they're out of business now. He goes, listen, mate, you've got all this stuff here. Can you come and get it? So I've yeah. got all these boxes at home. And I've got boxes of good to bad the ethnic DVDs. I don't know what to do with them now. Wow. I, I, I saw them the other day. Thinking, <laughs> you know what? I remember these shows. Good giveaways. Are, are well, gigs. that's all we can do is give you them away. Send me 10, you Send us. the boxes, yeah. Robin. I will. Far out. Well, I'll, I'll them give them you. out to people <laughs> yeah, at shows. Yeah, why not? <laughs> No, it was good. No, man. we had a lot of fun on these shows. Yeah, yeah, that was- Firstly, I think because we gelled, we had a great chemistry. Um, and, I, I, you know, I think there was some pretty innovative sort of things that we did. We did, yeah. You know, there was, the, the, the sketches were great. They were pretty, you know, we didn't have a, a huge theatrical budget in terms of production, but I... I don't think we needed it. Yeah, but we were stand-up comedians. It was a stand-up yeah. show with a couple little sketches. That's what, That's what it was. And, and and we had the Greek guy, Basil from America, yeah. who was, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. they're different breeds, aren't yeah. they? They're yeah. from America, audience. but he's a great guy. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, just just his yeah. mannerisms. and We're throwing the audience a lot. Like with stand-up comedy, yeah. song, yes. sketch, yeah. music, yeah. impro. I remember. Videos. Like, video. Like, there was yeah. a lot being thrown. Like, you know, we, we, we sang, we did that Elvis medley. Oh. oh, and then we did the... I oh, know, we did the grease medley, sorry. We did a grease medley. And I remember Joe used to try to hit this particular oh, note God. and I'd always look across the stage <laughs> and it was just awkwardness in his yeah, face and we'd, me and him would have a giggle. Yeah. <laughs> it was just good. But, you know, sometimes I'll, pull, sometimes I'll send them to you. I'll pull up pictures. I've seen pictures of us. Yeah. You know, someone had taken a picture of us in a, in a scene, right? And and I just... And I just... It just brings me back to that time on stage where we would we would try not to look at each other because we just <laughs> crack up. What you about know? when Rob had to open up a laptop? Oh, we, yeah, we, we that's right. We always put stuff in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. put notes. Yeah, we'd put notes. <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd open up with dirty pictures or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, once we stuck it together, remember, that's and right. you couldn't open it or something, yeah, what, what happened? And, and, and he panics if yeah, something yeah, can't yeah. happen. 
I'm, I'm at the State Theatre, you know, yeah. 2,000 people. It was. It was at the State <laughs> Theatre. And I think we recorded it because yeah. Tahir and I go, watch when he opens this. And I think I'm filming it and Tahir's next to me going, <laughs> watch, watch him when he opens this. Like two thousand, two and a half thousand yeah. people. Yeah. And <laughs> who does that? Yeah, yeah panic, I, I, panic, like if we're backstage and uh, I said, Rob, just grab grab a drink, like yeah. or grab something for yeah. free. Yeah. Um, he thinks, oh, am I loud? Yeah. Or, and then he he looks around so much that it invariably attract- by the time he grabs something, somebody walks in and gets busted. <laughs> <laughs> and he sees me. I'm yeah. just very relaxed. I just grab, yeah. grab it and move on with yeah, life. I'm used to being so big that I'm yeah. always, I'm easily seen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm well, easily caught. Yeah. yeah okay. you, you, Italian, short guy, yeah, yeah. you go through a crowd undetected. Yeah, I know. Me, you see like a giraffe just walking yeah, I know, through. I know, I know. But, you know, that would, you know, uh, the your your height. I, I love this story here. Um, <laughs> because well, we're doing gigs in in, um, in Perth. Yep. He goes, Vardy, all right, look, I can deal with the economy between Sydney and Melbourne. I was having Melbourne. bad back problems too back yeah. then. Yeah. Right. But come on, Tom, don't be a tight ass. You know, we go to Perth. Give me, give me a, <laughs> what do you say? Give, con- me a, give me an exit seat. Yeah, yeah exit I'm right. Not asking, right. He goes, I'm not asking for business. I'm not asking just, for much. I'm not just, but just give me an exit seat. Yeah. What is no it, six hours flight, five hours? No worries, okay, five you know, hours. you got to pay an extra... You know, because oh, I don't know. I don't travel business. Uh, you know, it's not, you know, that, well, every, it's not like I tra- the producer travels business and everyone else travels. Yeah, no, I every, travel the economy. Everyone travels. Every it. seat for you is like business. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but me, it's hard. Like, it's, right. Why do I have to pay extra to sit comfortably? That's what I don't get. Yeah, but then, you're you know, tall. Because if, you're if, tall. If people, but people are whinging now. Like, I would, I would lo- I'd love I'm to be as tall as you. I'm going to start a big campaign. Like, you know, the tall guy is... It's unfair. I've got to pay, pay more. I've got to pay more for clothes. I've got to pay. Yeah, I can't yeah. get shoes that fit. It's unfair, man. Yeah. Now, listen, because you're big and tall. Now, when you when there's a normal person like Joe and myself on a seat, right, in economy, and someone like you plonks themselves right next to us, yeah. there goes all that personal space. Yeah, that's right. Gone. Elbows. The elbows, oh, shit, the pace. Like the, the, yeah. There's nothing worse. <laughs> they go, ah, oh, yeah, and you're stuck. You get a sore neck by the whole thing. Is that, yeah. It's, anyway, you got me the exit, right? Thank yeah, you. Right. Thank you. I go, anyway, so we get to Perth. I go, Shahidi, you happy? Huh? You happy? <laughs> oh, I said, oh, mate, you got the exit row. I paid for the exit row. I've seen you got the exit row. What yeah. do you want now? Ah, oh, fuck. Because you got me a window seat. Well, mate, you know, at least you, you you got something to look at on the way. No, he complained. You know why? Because being yeah, yeah. on the on the window seat, he didn't like the, the angle. The the, the, the plane. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he was like this. Yeah, yeah. The roof comes like that. So it's go, like this guy's never happy. So mate. what? What he wants and is I said, the plane. I, I said to his wife, man, "How do you deal with this guy? How do you? Do? I've never met yeah. someone who complains no, so much." He wants, and his Joe? wife goes, "Mate, you should wait. Wait till he gets sick oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. complains." <laughs> But what he wants is a plane to like be curved, yeah, and then just get jut out like that, and then they curved again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not it. You remember that flight we came? It was Brisbane to Newcastle. It was oh, a yeah. lot. It was like a, a, a an airport. What is it? Qantas Link. It's like yeah. a pebble, propeller one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. Yeah, we all pushed the plane. Yeah, I basically had to crawl on. <laughs> I had to crawl on because the, the bloody roof was so low. It was budget. Anyway, the, the pilot. The pilot. And I'm getting the... jealous. I'm getting. I'm in there now. I'm like, oh, Joe, Joe's yeah. right next to. There's an aisle, and there's yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I look. I'm getting jealous now. He puts down his um. He's yeah, yeah, uh, sleeping mask. Uh, mask. I, I have so, a so mask. So Joe can sleep anywhere, anywhere. any time, a drop anywhere. of a hat. Yeah. And then, and look, I'm jealous now because yeah. I'm tired. I'm looking. He's yeah. snuggled me like this. Yeah. Then the flight finishes. Uh, we, we land and um, we get up. And, you know, you stand up. You're waiting for the doors yeah. to open. And this real 
oh, fair dinkum looking kind of guy. Yeah. I think he was working on the mines, you know. Mm. And Jones was dressed well. You had you had your um you had your Gucci shoes on. My Gucci shoes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, your travel if you know shoes. Gucci, they're yeah. like um they got green and red on yeah, it. Yeah. And, they, and they, anyway, this bogan guy looks down at him and goes, Oh mate, you go for South, do you? <laughs> <laughs> He goes, Joe's like, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah, your shoes, mate. You go for South Sydney. Yeah. And I start laughing because I know where this is going. <laughs> because South, for that, because don't forget, this podcast goes all over the world. So South Sydney is a rugby team here yeah. whose colours are red and, and green. green. Yes. The same colour as my Gucci I've shoes. I've never yeah. seen him so offended. He goes, I go, he goes South. oh, oh. <laughs> I go, these are Gucci's. <laughs> these are two, three hundred dollars, mate. He goes, oh, sorry, <laughs> mate. Sorry. <laughs> I'm on. laughing now. I'm losing it. There's only no South made the slippers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just the way he did, remember, just the way he looks down. Because, you, you know, you're waiting. Yeah, it's it's a great conversation. for the door to open. Yeah. So you're just making, you know, that small yeah. talk. Oh, you go for South Sydney, mate. <laughs> what? Jeez, what? You should say, <laughs> mate. You should say, mate. You should say, mate, I don't even have a job. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. Now, we had some fun. What about oh, all those photos? The, the you got me of sleeping everywhere. Yes, yeah, so I've got a montage of Joe. So before every show, mm. so everyone's got their rituals. Joe would we have our feed. Yeah. Sleep anyway. The food was always big for us yeah. before a show. Well, hang on, don't, don't brush over that. People people often ask us, what do you guys do backstage, right? Yeah, yeah they think and we got What, what like, they don't realise, they actually think we're rehearsing. Yeah. Like, nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah, I know. But there's no yeah. rehearsals. No. There's no, like... Our like, rehearsals is staged when we're on the stage. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. you can there's drop no these pep- in, these photos. I've got a video of all the uh, food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe we could, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, in sleeping those, photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. People think, but maybe there's a pep talk. Yeah. There's, a, like, a game day uh, rundown. To, uh, like, so the captains, main thing... The captain's match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think Joe's giving us a talk? No, he's sleeping. <laughs> So the main thing, the main discussion always before any show, yeah. backstage, not about the show, not about the crowd, not about anything, yeah. the food. Food. Right? It's yeah. discussed and dissected and yeah. and led by Rob. Yeah. Right? And that yeah. is our main – people would laugh how much time we spend on it. Yeah. What are we getting? When's yeah. it coming? What's yeah. going on? What's available? What about the complaints? So once you oh. and I did a corporate show in Adelaide, remember? And they had the worst food. <laughs> they had the worst food. And we were in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't like, oh, yeah. shit, this food yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's get something from somewhere. Is it it? Is that all we're going to get? <sighs> now, why it's so look, important? Shit. Uh, why it's important? I love the side. No, but what about when you get the portions and the port and he goes, nah, I can look at bring- the size of me and this is what you're giving me. Do I look me. like yeah. I, uh, this yeah. body's made I, for I, salads? I, I, can bring, I can bring this in. <laughs> it's a crumb. <laughs> No, but you don't got to realise you're staying in a hotel. There's no pantry. Yeah. There's no food. Yeah. So you want to eat good, mm. do the show, and go yeah. back to the room, sleep. Yeah. yeah. Because you don't want to wake up. But we're it, often eating just before the show starts. Yeah, heavy, heavy yeah. meals. Oh, anyway. Heavy yeah. meals. Yeah. So the rituals and yes, stuff. Is so the ritual, yeah. I know your, your ritual before a uh, going out, have a nap. Yeah, I still do. This guy yeah. has to go to the toilet. Quick leak. Yeah, right. Just quick. Yeah. It could, yeah. it, three seconds. I've yeah. got to go. So yeah. I'm about to walk on. We're at a function. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have the stars of this. Thing. I'm now looking. He's suddenly, well, he was there. Next thing, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you? Where are you? <sighs> so then, you know. As I'm leaking, I'm hearing the announcement. <laughs> and as, as it's getting closer, I've got to now push harder to push it out. <laughs> so I've seen my mind. I'm timing it. Right? Plenty of time to leak before, but has yeah. to be just yeah. before we go on. I, don't know I never knew that about him, but yeah. I mean, we've done hundreds of yeah, shows yeah, together. Yeah. Hundreds. Always got a leak. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll do weird things. Remember in Darwin when I was <laughs> they're announcing me, I brought my nail clippers? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? We're about to go on. Yeah. We had big, big, there's a thousand people. It was actually a nightclub appearance for Fat Pizza. Discovery thousand. nightclub. Famous, really, famous, were, famous yeah, right. nightclub yeah. in Darwin. They were pumped. Big anyway, crowd, I'm, we're, we're pumping each this. other up. All right, I'm... I'm Paulie's tapping me on the back. I'm tapping um, Tahi on the back. Then I could, I'm looking. Benjamin, the people you here come to see the crowd. <sighs> I'm looking because he's going to walk yeah. out first. He's, I, but he see he he's yeah. click. Yeah. click. Yeah. This is the, we're about like uh, yeah. a meter from walking out. Yeah, he's just ticking his uh, eye, uh, his nails, <laughs> and then they're falling on the ground. And you know that that light that glows everything that yeah. purple light. Yeah, his nails are glowing. <laughs> We're about to go out. We're about to go out. Then he what? puts it away and he walks out. <laughs> oh my god! Like if people like, knew no, what happens. But why there? Uh, what? I, I, know, like, I, I thought I had a spare forty-five seconds. 
<laughs> well, that's fine. Uh, when uh, when, uh, when I'm answering key... emails just before I'm about to go on. It was on my key ring, so I thought, yeah, yeah. here's a good time to do it. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, key ring. What a wog, you know. Yeah, that's just hanging yeah. it off his But, yeah, but, but Joe, like, yeah, he'd be, mate, for a start, before the show, where's Joe? He's not around. He could be anywhere. He's We know he's there. Usually underneath a table. He'll find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, yeah great spot. Yeah, yeah, the most yeah. unbelievable. Like, all you see is my feet sticking out. You've got all these photos. We, we'll get yeah, them. Yeah, find And we'll, we'll, we'll splice them into this, in this yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what Joe's doing on the laptop. Yeah. If he's not sleeping, he's doing business. Yeah, right? yeah. And I'm and I, I'm watching. Like, I'm watching the MC or whoever's hosting at the time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, next up, you've seen him in Canada, UK, this, that. Like, like, and he's still typing and sending it. To, 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 he wants to finish that email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm, I, I'm just, I'm watching it like I'm, I'm even, even I probably wouldn't even do that. Uh, maybe yeah. I got a taller, but like, Joe Avadi, send, and then he's off. Going all the way back to the first night. And the moment he finishes, the moment he finishes, he's straight back into it. So going back to the first night, you're a businessman comedian. Yeah. Oh, it's a business of comedy. I've been. Mean, I, I, sometimes you actually I, went to uni with my cousin. Remember, you did the right. same course. Yes, that's right. Mm. Um, yeah. Sometimes I think I'm not a comedian. No, I think I'm more of a comedian now. Yeah, but I, I was in the business of comedy. That's the way I looked at nah, it. No, but you. I think you're always a comedian, but you understood the business. Yes, that's yeah. a big like. Yeah. yeah, there's a big difference. Like people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of comedians that have been around for a while and they go, oh, how come I haven't had any, any sort of heights or mm. had any sort of success? Yeah. Well, so you he gotta, loved, like push. He loves. He's stand up like he, yeah. oh, he love loves it. it. He lives yeah. for it. Yeah, me, it, I can MC. I just, I, I, it's a tough one for me. Like, I see myself as an entertainer. I yeah. can MC. You give me a mic, yeah. I can just. I yeah, guess. But you're a great entertainer. You're 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 always been a crowd favorite with the show all the time. From my, what I, I just remember, I enjoy you know I mean? it. I enjoy, it, but like his passion is stand up. Yeah, you know that's mm. his passion. I enjoy doing show. Yeah. I love yeah sketch. I love yeah. characters. I love yeah. touring. my passions are emails. Yes, <laughs> I do sleepy. like going out there, yeah. and yeah, you say I dominate the stage, but yeah. yeah, being this big too, it's like yeah. But now you've got that. You're you're you know you're you're a crowd favorite. You're a lovable character. He's I mean, likable. everyone loves. He's likable. Yeah, yeah, it's very likable. Very likable. Mm. You know? Yeah, but <laughs> but, but stand up, like I like all sorts of like, but I love stand up. Yeah, but, I but you're a different... great sketch writer too. I, I enjoy everything though. I enjoy editing even. Like, yeah. but you, but you like, uh, but probably, I mean, you get like, um, you like booking stuff. Yes. Like you quite enjoy it. Like you yeah. get like, like sure yeah. you've got people that can do it for yeah. you. Yeah. But you quite enjoy doing yeah. that. Yeah. Like you find it fun to book the venues and yeah. Pop, yeah, yeah. I do. People probably wouldn't think you would do that, you know. No, I well, I've done it for so long. But yeah. you know, now, you know, there's other people that do it. But you know what? Um there's certain tours, small tours, where I'll do it myself. Yeah. I just I just like to get it's like, you know, it's like getting back on the tools. For me, yeah, yeah, like the production, the, pr- the but producer side. You're, you're a businessman. Everything costs. Like we, we've yeah. done our shows. We've done stage shows at Emerald, and and you know, one in the morning, people are seeing us on King George's Road in, in mm. Sydney, yeah. putting on, putting posters on the yeah. poles. Yeah, us doing it, yeah. not paying someone yeah, yeah, else. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. I'll, I'll be sitting what? up on stage, and people think you got people to do that. Yeah. No. Yeah. I go to the churches. But I like to do it myself. Yeah, we yeah. go to venues, yeah. churches yeah. that we put pamphlets yeah. and all the cars. Yeah. Like we did it. Yeah. We did. I, I like that. There's, there's a certain element. I don't think that also that sort of keeps us grounded as well. Mm. You know, it keeps you. It's not, I always you know, say to people, it's not Hollywood. It's not Hollywood. People you're think, right. uh, you yeah. know, they go, oh, you're driving this, so you're driving. Yeah. Well, all right, man. Like, See, uh, uh, on stage, we worked hard. We're in Australia. Like, yeah. So just because you're famous and you've got nice things, what? So if you if you made your money on the stock market and you got a, a nice car, oh, no one hassles them. But because you're famous and you've got a nice car, oh, you know, you think. No, well, yeah. man, I've worked no, hard. No, no. We've yeah. been in this business for 25 years plus doing this stuff. You know, if we want something it's just, nice, it's we It's funny what it. people think about like, how I was, they look I was at... driving a Magna for years. Yeah. I talked to him. I said, man, you've got to get a new car because yeah. we do long drives. Man, I know, I've been to corporate go- uh, gigs <laughs> where he gets paid more than what the car's worth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it doesn't bother him. That's what <laughs> I, I love about him. It. I just talked him into getting a new car because... Like nothing worse. I used to ring him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah one second, he'd answer. One yeah. second. Yeah. He's got yeah. the wires. Yeah. He's untangling them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you yeah. need Bluetooth. You need. Yeah, you know. Just enjoy the drive because <laughs> <laughs> it's not for the money. The he best. drives long yeah. distances for gigs. The Magnum was a good car. It was worth, it was worth about two or three thousand, right? Yeah. Half and, of it's uh, stuck on bloody poles around parking lots because it, <laughs> he, he used to just come swing it in. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. Goes back out. <laughs> drives. <laughs> I did a corporate. But what about when, when yeah, okay, so. I yeah. did a corporate in uh, Central Coast. Yeah. It was one of those hotels. So it was, yeah. it was a, I don't know what sort of company. It was like electrician or someone. Yeah. 
Um, there's about 200 of them, and they're all staying at the hotel, yeah. and that's where the conference was. Yeah. I've turned up as a special guest comedian. Yeah. I've done the show. It's gone incredibly well, yeah. unbelievable. And they were so pumped to see me at the function yeah. and so pumped with the show I gave. They followed me yeah. to say goodbye. Yeah. So the, the whole bunch of there's about 20, 30 of them came out to the yeah. car park. See ya, thanks, yeah. thanks again, man. See you yeah. later. Like, yeah. thanks again. Yeah. And because I know now what I'm about to get into a Magna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you would have got paid I, I more. I jump in. I, it was. I was getting paid more than what the car was worth, right? 100%. So I hop in, yeah. and they're all there. I remember they were just staring, looking at me. Yeah. As I drove up, I swear to God, I heard one guy, <laughs> one guy just, I heard him, like, clearly, he's driving a Magna. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? That's Do why I like make Magnus anymore. No, I, even have I, I did another one at um, Star City mm. in Sydney. Yeah, big event, five hundred people. Casino, casino. Yeah, right. Yeah, big event, and they said, "Come in. You're the special." Like you know, again, I'm, so I'm hosting that night and doing comedy. Yeah. So I've turned up in a tie suit, well dressed. Which is very rare for you, anyway. Very rare. Yeah. And I've turned up in my and they had we got parking organised. Yeah. So I've rocked up to the casino, <laughs> in my Magna. Right. I've got out in a suit and tie and a hat. <laughs> And I've given the guy the keys. Yeah. Now, mind you, very expensive cars around me. Yeah. There's right? Porsches, Ferraris. Yeah. And and then people know, hey, you're that guy, you're the comedian. Like, yeah, yeah. And then they look at so, But now, the reverse job. I don't know if you like, so I've come back and finished the gig. I've given the ticket to the guy. Yeah. Everyone's going, hey, you're that comedian that we've seen you doing the TV shows. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Yeah. yeah. And then I've, I swear to God, a Porsche came. Yeah. The guy, Cleet, like, everyone's now waiting for their yeah. cars. Yeah. Porsche came. There was a Merc. There was another. And then the guy rocked up with my Magna. <laughs> Again, people are there waiting. Like, have a yeah. look. He, he gets in the car. I don't tip him. Of course not. Oh, no. How can you? Uh, when you Magna got a guy's not going to tip him. Yeah. I get in the car and just drive off. <laughs> if you had, if, you had if, 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 if they had pulled up with a Ferrari and the guy had known and you would have got into it, he probably would have let you got into it, into the car, thinking, well, yeah, of course. He, I should have just taken off. He 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 would pos possibly drive a car yeah. like this. But Jay, it's funny that it's funny either. the perception that people oh, have of us. Like if yeah. we didn't, if I didn't do like MC work yeah. and shows yeah. and that, yeah. mate, I'd, I'd be I'd be a struggling actor. There is yeah. no work in Australia. Yeah. We've had to create. Yeah, I've yeah. never got it. The only time I got a job from a, an audition, yeah, was when I did the when in, walked into Paul Phoenix office, yeah. And got the pizza. Yeah. That was the only audition I've. Yeah. I've done auditions. I'm, I'm over them. I'm passing yeah. them. That was yeah. a good one though. It set you yeah. off on a good, no, that's good why, track. Yeah, yeah. And and, yeah. and and we appreciate that. Like you know, yeah. you know, like, like we had great yeah. times on pizza. We had great, yeah. great crew, great people, yeah. and we really yeah. enjoyed our time on there. Yeah. And um, but if I just waited, and there's a lot of actors out there, and yeah. and, and yeah. they think even kids watching this, yeah. like yeah. you need to do something else. You got to have yeah. a, keep it as a yeah. serious hobby. That's what I yeah. tell them. Yeah. Um, because. You're not always going to get. No. People think we're millionaires, but we're not. Yeah. Um. You know. That's, we're it's more only, than that. Yeah. Yeah. We're more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. There's no. How much is how much is production here is costing me? Oof. I mean, look at where this table is. Oof. Look, 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 I feel like I'm at the tennis. Look, I'm, I'm look, sitting here at the church studios, street, mate. Street, 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 street studios, mate. I feel like an umpire. I'm looking left. I'm looking right. Look, oh, look, my neck. My neck hurts. You play a game of Scrabble or something. Look. Yeah, Scrabble you. Mate, this is when what is it a seance? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what I'm saying is, when, it's, you, when uh, it's labelled like this, you know it's uh, it. It hasn't happened yeah. overnight for all of us. You know, no. I've been twenty. This is my probably twenty second year in the game. Yeah. Well, we've been doing it twenty five, twenty. Well, mm. actually, I mean, my tour is the twenty fifth anniversary, but it really it's the twenty seventh year that we've been doing it. But you know, because of COVID, we had to hold off because. You know, twenty seventh anniversary doesn't sound good on a poster. It doesn't look. I'm good touring on a next year, celebrating twenty seven and three quarter years in a really. Business. Well, yeah, yeah, but you would do that, Tahir, because you're a quirky guy. <laughs> you know what I'm announcing? Two hundred shows on sale. Yeah. One hundred and eighty cancelled due to unpopular demand. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but you would do that. Yeah, mate. I am doing that. I'm going to do you that. You have yeah. the balls to do that, mate. You I know. do whatever. Like, honestly, you do. Like, so I, I, uh, I take risks, as you know. You do take and risks. Like, I'll use props. I don't even care because like, yeah. I love pure stand up. Yeah. But I love all everything else yeah. as well. I'm not one yeah. of those guys. Yeah. I know some comedians go, oh, stand up is supposed to be just talking. Well, you, nah. you went on Australia's There's Got Talent and as a magician. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Was... Yeah, but mate, I, you know, having we, we've worked on several shows mm. now together for many years, really. You know, the thing that I noticed is that, um, you know, you really, um, you, you really take a risk. You know, the, 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 that that one sketch we we always talk about, yeah. which is the joke translation. Yeah, yeah we questioned it. You know, we, I'm like, 
look, Tahir, we'll give it a go. If it works once, we'll give it a go, you know, because you've got to give it, you know, sometimes it might so not work if, on one night. If we take people back, so we're yeah. thinking about some ideas for the show, some sketches. Yeah. And I, I had this idea of doing, doing a joke translation, right? So um, how it worked was, I don't even know how I thought of it, but I thought, I thought it would be funny. Yeah. Because... I remember Rob doing a joke in Lebanese. I yeah. just it just sounded funny to me yeah. in Arabic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what's going on, but it sounds funny. Yeah. He's going uh, and then uh, like, uh, like it, was just, it was just funny, like, you know. Yeah. So I said we'll do a joke in a different country, and um, I'll pretend I I. Yeah, I know you're the, the translator. I'm, I'm the yeah. translator. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fluent in three different countries: yeah. Greek, Italian, Italian, and Arabic. Yeah. And I remember like pitching it to you guys, and, and yeah, nobody right. was convinced. No, I was like Tahir, like we'll give it a go once, twice. As the executive producer, if it doesn't work, yeah, mate, yeah. this sketch is out. I just cannot see this sketch working. Yeah. So basically the premise was that, you know, you would say, oh, I'm going to call out one of the guys. They're going to yep. do a joke in their language and I will translate. And I'm like, because, you know, for, for, for yeah. the people watching this, you know, a gag, once you've told the punchline, yep. you can't say it again. And if, if I'm doing the Italian bit and there's a lot of Italians in yeah. the show, they've heard the gag in Italian. So they already know the punchline. How is it? possibly going to be funny again a second later when they hear it in English. It's just yeah. not going to work. But it ended up being one of the best yeah, it was great. sketches. It was so the, much whole, fun. People it loved it. People and you loved know, it. So much roar, yeah. how, how much they roared. Yeah. He's, done, he's done that a few times where yeah. I was like, oh, man, I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to work. But what about this, this magic thing you're doing? You stuff up the <laughs> yeah. magic, but What's, then it actually works. What's your name? The world's best worst magician. Yeah. So how? Look, I've been collecting magic for quite a long time. Yeah. When so, we did it in the good, the bad, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was for, yeah. 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 Even yeah. that. Even that. He said oh, to man. me, "Just go along." Remember, yeah, I was I his I assistant, I and I don't know what to do. But he goes, "What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Yeah. Just come along with me." So we both developed a, you know. Yeah, but yeah, but you know, sitting back and watching it, that was you know, you know, you'd seen the show a hundred times. That's you know. That bit there when you guys got up and Zahir. did that, Zahir, right? <laughs> Floating drinks and <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I would step from backstage from backstage to, to stand in the front. Yeah, to yeah. I had to every night I had to watch. Yeah, I didn't bit. know that. Yeah. yeah, I just loved it. It's so funny. But also the the reason why that works is because you know the chemistry between you guys oh, yeah, is yeah. fantastic, and the chemistry between all of us. And I'm sure that sometime down the track yeah. we'll probably do a show together again soon. When we do those sketches, we just the sketches are just fantastic. It's straight you know? on, honestly. Yeah. Some of the, I mean, we did. Um, with the millionaire stuff, which, which yes, there, there was, was a lot of sketches. Really, there was really, a lot of great stuff. It just we, worked yeah. the tree. But yeah. I, I've been collecting the magic for quite a while. But yeah. you know, like I loved it. So I love comedy magic. Yeah. And I think in another lifetime, I'd been a comedy magician. Mm. I love it so much. Mm. Right? I love, I love the amazing Jonathan. Yeah. But stand-up comedy is my passion. Yeah. That's always going to be number one. Yeah. No matter what, whether I've got ten people or, or two thousand, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Like yeah. you know. But um, so I started doing magic shows at festivals. Because I was doing my adult shows at night time, but guess yeah. what I was doing during the day? For nothing. Kids. Yeah. I was oh, doing right. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go, let's do a show. I got all these tricks. Yeah. And uh, I said, I need to uh, justify it through taxation. Yeah. I bought <laughs> <laughs> thousands thousands dollars of the tricks. Yeah. And it just worked a treat. And yeah. it nearly started out selling my adult show. I said yeah. again, well, I go, if these kids shows sells more than my adult show, mm. I think I might have to give up. No, but he did well. It went look. It, it's I've had really magicians well. I mean, coming up. To, I mean, like recently after he did Australia's Got mm. Talent, magicians coming up to him saying how good he was. They enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like proper magicians. Yeah, they loved it. Yeah. So the key was yeah. to make the trick funny. Yeah. Funny, like so, do stupid, stupid tricks. Yeah. Every now and then, do a proper trick. Yeah. That's that was my. Yeah. Uh, that was. I my, love it. It's fantastic. One of the well, you problems. remember the one with the in the good and bad? He, he we poured the coke. Yes. And it was floating. The yeah. cup was yeah, floating. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and, and the and drink yeah, was coming yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. How we did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. And then people, oh my god, they did something. Yeah. They did something. Yeah. But, yeah. but it, look, it went really well. The kids, yeah. Yeah. all the kids love it. I'm, I'm yeah. a, the kids coming up to me everywhere, going, oh my god. Yeah. The magic. <laughs> the magic. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I had so much fun. Like I had to be convinced to do that show. By the way. I, they say so I didn't want to. I didn't just say I want to go on Australia's Got Talent. Yeah. They said, "Listen, we've seen your world's best worst magic. Do you want to come yeah. on?" And yeah. I th I said I wasn't sure at first. Mm. I had to be convinced. But you didn't. You didn't even announce your name, did you? Well, that was one of my rules. I said, yeah. "I'll come on, but don't don't mention my name." Yeah. One of the yeah. judges, Shane Jacoby, goes, "Oh, Tahir. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. It's the world's best worst magician. Yeah. Um, I might do it again. Yeah. And yeah, you know what the funny thing is, Joe? I got so many positive messages from that. Yeah. Maybe one percent of people questioning why I did it, saying, "Hey, yeah. listen, don't you think you're you're um, above that show?" Yeah, really. And, and 
see, this is where you people know me, right? You yeah, two know me, yeah. right? Oh, but yeah. other people don't. I go, I would never, I, I don't even care about that. Yeah. Like yeah, people thinking, oh, worrying. it's going to worry about your no. profile. Who cares? You, you, I do things for fun. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, again, this yeah. is this yeah, is our do. lives. Yeah. Take and you're some make risk. a living. Like yeah, uh, yeah. some comedians just. Sit but it wasn't and, about that, Rob. It wasn't no, about, I'm like just saying like, like the way they have this idea. Habit yeah. of fun. The kids loved it. I, I did the jungle for fun. I loved that. Like yeah. that was one of the best yeah. experiences of my life. Yeah. Like you know, uh, so it's a celebrity jungle show we're yeah. talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. that show was like. Yeah. AGT. Shred's got talent. So much fun. He did starve to death. Oh my god. And he's generally starve, and he would he would he would. I did Celebrity Apprentice. That was fine because I could go home and sleep and eat, and we had breaks and whatever. This people think there's food on the side. Okay, yeah. everyone, no matter what sort of weight you come I'm with. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. So yeah. people, whoever's in there, like no matter what sort of weight you come with, yeah. you generally lose 10% of your body weight Yeah, Oof. if you're there long enough, right? Yeah. But, I mean, you know about this, Joe. You, you're into food science and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Ketosis. Yeah, right? ketosis, after, yeah. Ketosis. After a couple of days, you hit, because yeah. we're, we're having 600 calories, Yeah, a shitload of water. Yeah, I was drinking like four liters a day, right? Yeah. It was restricted, like three, three, yeah. three four. I just ate rice, rice yeah. and beans, six yeah. But then, when you hit that ketosis, ketosis. your body, what Starts happens? To, like, starts what? to eat itself, it breaks down itself. Yeah. Yeah, but you feel fantastic. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Like I was, yeah. like, oh my god, I'm feeling so. I'm feeling like a million dollars. Yeah. Sleeping beautifully. Yeah. Feeling good. Yeah. I go, what a state to be in. Yeah. It's yeah. just hard to get there. Yeah, I, I say, I said, Rob, get to ketosis. You love it. But you know what? He can never get there because he it's thought three days keto- He thought ketosis was an island in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> How can he get through three days of starvation? Oh, he can man, never do broke. it. He can never do it. Yeah, but I've been with this guy where he orders a drink, right? Yeah. Right? And they, no, 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 too much ice, <laughs> only a little bit of ice. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> if you put too much ice, I'm not going to get No, enough. no, no. I, I- <laughs> Waiters when they come, have you seen waiters when they get? I can have a uh, cake zero. They put the cup, and then they and they basically practically the mineral water is where they just pour upside down really quick. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 stop! That's too aggressive. <laughs> too aggressive. Because all the bubbles go, it becomes a flat <laughs> coke. That's funny, you, boys. You know, one yeah. time, just really, really quick. Yeah. So Rob was uh, he decided to go on a diet, yeah. right? And he was getting angry and aggressive. Oh, next, oh, yeah, yeah. And he was just like, he was losing it. Yeah. He was snapping at everybody. And finally, at two that. o'clock in the morning, he lost it. And he, and I got, he up, goes, I got a bowl of Cocoa Pops. Listen, I'm going to get a bowl of Cocoa Pops yeah. to break his... so like, angry. These little, <laughs> you have these little chocolate <laughs> tablets like that. Yeah, There's yeah. a snack and a, and this yeah. shot. Okay. Yeah, but the key is with, with, with trying to go on diet, you've got to do something that's sustainable. Yeah. That is not sustainable. No, it zaps you your body it. for maybe you know a little I mean? bit. And not then for you, him. You know, it's easy. You want to lose weight, you eat less. Yep. That, you, so you Can't exercise you hit, you, more than you eat. It's as simple as that. I don't know if you could hear that. My stomach just made yeah, a noise. I heard it's that. getting I hungry. Heard that. I know. I'm going to have lunch. Have to wrap it up. See, again, before the show, we talk about food now. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about food. Sure you should me before the show. Yeah, <laughs> so, guys, because we've got to start wrapping it up, what's happening now? What's what's going on? You guys have got a, a great show happening. Tell us about that. We do. like yeah. So we've been working. Uh, we did we did show from Lebanon Love. How, how many years ago? We did a show uh, 18 years ago, yeah. 19 years ago yeah. at the Come end ball with, yeah. uh, with Tahir and mm-hmm. there was a, a cast of actors yeah. and my yeah. mother was in it. Yeah. And that was a smash. Like we, we yeah. did tens of thousands of people. Yeah. We took it yeah. to Adelaide and Melbourne. And then it's taken us 18, 19 years. Well, I remember seeing that show. And I, and I, I've, I've kept on bugging you. I'm like, what are you guys going to do another yeah. version? Joe jo was always saying to me, right now yeah. it's kind of... It's it's the Lebanese turn. Yeah, it the is. Italians it were is. in the nineties. It's like yeah, but don't forget a, we did a we did another show called Two and a Half Two and a Half Lebs. We've yeah. done a few. Then we did yeah. uh, Street Smart. Yeah. Then we did uh, um, Here we did the Here Come the Habibs. Habibs. Come, yeah. Uh, we On did TV, we, we did course, the Fat yeah. Pizza movies, the Houses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we did a whole. So, we've, so we've done busy. a whole bunch of TV. Yeah. Before that, so this timing wasn't right. So now mm. we've got a whole new generation has grown up. Yeah. Who watched that show? Who are now probably have kids themselves. Of course. And we've now brought out a new show called Once Upon a Time in Lebanon. Yeah. And we just we just did two sellout shows at the Enmore Theatre, yeah. and yeah. Um, we're bringing it back December yeah. three. It's it, and yeah. and everything we sort of try to achieve worked. Like we it's want a family to feel, show. Yeah. Leave the theatre proud. Yes. People cried. They laughed. Yeah. It, it, they were educated about their country. So Lebanon's yeah. going through um, tough times financially yeah. now. Really, yeah. really struggling yeah. times. Electricity's yeah. cutting out. Water's yeah. an issue. Um, yeah. So you know, people are sad. Yeah. And this kind of lifts their spirits. Yeah, of course. Mate, like we're getting messages. That this made us fall in love with Lebanon again. Yeah, it, 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 you know, because kids coming through now are, are losing that identity. I think yeah. we're, my generation were the last ones because my parents yeah. were born in Lebanon. Yeah, I still had that 
yes, yes, connection. Yeah, yeah. I think the new ones coming through, it's hard. You, yeah. go, you can't blame the parents. No. They're living here and, yeah. um, you know, they're speaking and English at home. But this, so, so many parents said, like, I'm so glad I brought my kids along. Yes. Like, because that, yeah. because they're, they're, they're is, is it's a pretty clean show. Yeah. Look, yeah. Uh, let's, you know, look, Arabic swearing is funny. Yeah, right. So it's, there's a yeah. bit of Arabic. But, but even if there's, there's a it, certain it, percentage yeah. of Arabic, but look, you know, you, 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 not oh, just I'm, Arabs come to the show, right? I remember because, going to no, Greek no. shows. I remember going to the Greek shows in the yeah. old days, and yeah. they, you know, you wouldn't understand, but I'd laugh with them. You have a brain, you figure it out. Yeah, and you laugh with yeah. the audience, yeah. you know. Yeah. So and that's easy to follow. But it's been really enjoyable when something we we planned it works. It yeah. worked a treat. Um, we love to get back on tour again. Yeah. Uh, when we do our tours yeah. together, I don't see that as work. No, nah, it's quite. I, I do it? not yeah. see when yeah. I'm by myself. It's yeah. work. Yeah. Like when I'm doing my shows or I'm doing corporate events or. Weddings or whatever, like festivals. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen but to when do we're it. together, yeah, yeah. there's no work. I yeah. know, it's like, it's so much. We laugh. People don't understand. Yeah, yeah. We should have cameras following. We laugh so much. Yeah. I think the, the um, next the next tour we do, we we will have because you know now it's a lot it. easier to do let's it. Let's do it. You know, with GoPros and whatever, and you know, and it's more accessible. People will be surprised. Film that. The, the backstage people stuff. would be surprised at what they yeah, see. Like they'd be. Well, we, so, remember, we pranked him backstage. Remember we had the uh, the Hooter. We've got footage oh, yeah, of that. Yeah. <laughs> We've got footage of that as well, but yeah, we'll show yeah. that one. But actually, yeah. show that footage. I actually, I've got that somewhere. I've oh, got right. the footage. No, we of got me that being... footage. Joe just comes back. He's just killed on stage. Yeah, he's coming back suave. Oh, cool. And we put him in slow motion. Oh, I had the camera and tie at the big hooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Like, you, you know I me, mean, I like to work on different projects. So, yeah. um, I'm working on a uh, a children's movie. Yep. And a big blockbuster as well. Right. Um, so I just I just aim for the stars. I don't, uh, I don't you, care. Like in terms, when you say a big blockbuster, writing or you you writing writing yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah okay. So I've had this idea for a while. Well, it's a big blockbuster. You hope it's going to be a big. Blockbuster. It's a big blockbuster. Yeah, it's right. Big, yeah. Okay. It's going to be great. It's called Billionaire Knuckle Club. And uh, it's a uh, billionaire knuckle club. Yeah, yeah beautiful right. title. Yeah, um, and uh, it's it's going to be. I, all I need is just a backer of uh, fifty million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get Clive Palmer, he's in a billionaire knucklehead, isn't he? Yeah, he's, a, he's a knucklehead. Like, <laughs> but, uh, but look, I love just um, working on some big projects. And yep. uh, there's we, look, there's a little bit of interest. We yep. do have a little bit of interest. Yeah, uh, children's. I love to do a children's movie. Yeah, something completely different. Yeah. People are like yeah, I, I yeah. love working. Rob knows I like to have. I'm like the you know the cook the chef. Uh, I, I like, like one by one. Got, yeah. He's on the stove st stirring the one thing. He yeah. loves that. For me, yeah. I like different things. Yeah, sauces yeah, right. happening. Yeah, yeah. Something's ready. Like you know, yeah, uh, yeah. I enjoy that. I enjoy. I, yeah. I, I find that stimulating. Yeah, to have fair things, enough. You know, um, but eventually, um, we should get back together again. Eventually, yeah. like yeah. all right, let's do it. Let's do it. We've just you've heard it here. We're going to come back first. together for another yeah, tour. We'll do the comeback. Might tour. be in ten years' time, but <laughs> you know what I love to do? I love to do a Wog musical. Really? Yeah. He loves his music. I love musicals. Yeah, yeah. We struggle to sing those songs. Now oh, wants to do a musical. Mate, well, yeah. I'm not saying we sing oh, the songs. Oh, we get oh, some professionals sing. We just do the acting and the, <laughs> yeah, the comedy. Guy, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, but I'd yeah. like to do a play. I would like actually a scripted play. I'd like right. to see us in that environment because mm. we always do stand up. You know, I can see Joe on his own. But then we come together. You can see us do sound. We've, everyone's seen us do. I like yeah. to test yeah. that. We do sketch, but yeah. No, you look. Our sketches, I think, were you know, were, were great. You know, they were clever. Yeah. You know, they were different, uh, simple, but you know, the, the characters. Yeah. 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 You know? Well, I, yeah. I, I would love to do like the the, the biggest <laughs> <laughs> ethnic stand-up comedy show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we play like a two, in it, like a ten twenty thousand seat. Yeah. Stadium. Yeah. There's the biggest ethnic stand-up comedy show. Yeah, you can you can get. Well, there's no reason why we can't. Yeah, yeah. We've we, also we, got we've all got massive followings. Yeah, we should. Let's, let's Boys, do it. it's been a fantastic chat. I'm glad you guys are here, and um, you know it's great. And this is not that we didn't even know what we we're going to talk about. No, we, we, we just literally just walked in. Fantastic. Thanks for having us, Joe. And I just like romper room. I thought there yes. was something magical in this, but it's just water. <laughs> it's just water. But thanks that's for a, having us. That's oh, a call from the past. Some people yeah, well, some people remember it. Yeah, no. uh, anyway, yeah. you, you were know, on there, weren't you? No, I wasn't on there. Oh, I, my yeah. brother was. <laughs> was he? Yeah. But I, I, I always nah. wanted to know what was in the cups. And yeah, it was just it was milk. 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 I couldn't drink milk. That's why I didn't want to go. Number one. And number two, when she looked for a magic <laughs> mirror, she never said I can just hear Giuseppe. <laughs> never. <laughs> right. She was that racist. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> on that note, thanks, thanks for much, having guys. us, Joe. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Ciao.